simplify this trigonometric fraction yeah you have two fractions here the first thing that should come to your mind when you see a fraction is to make the denominator common well then only you can subtract or add the fraction yeah it's about subtracting so that is the reason I'm gonna go ahead and see that my denominators are a plus b and a minus b or they are in the form of the sum and the difference so I think you know that algebraic identity which talks about this their product is always equal to the difference of the two squares so square of 1 is 1 and square of sine theta is sine squared theta okay and what you have that have at the top you can simplify that by cross multiplying with the opposite denominator so this sine theta gets multiplied with 1 plus sine theta and minus sine theta gets multiplied with 1 minus sine theta the opposite denominator okay now that they have a common denominator 1 minus sine squared theta so I'm gonna keep it common like this now just simplify sine theta times 1 is just sine theta sine theta times sine theta is sine squared theta minus sine theta again minus minus is plus sine squared theta there is an identity that talks about the sum of sine squared theta and cos squared theta which is 1. So 1 minus any of that term is the opposite. So 1 minus sine squared theta is cos squared theta. Look at this sine theta sine theta cancels out. You have 2 sine squared theta at the top. 2 sine squared theta and then you have divided by cos squared theta. Both of them are in square form so I can keep that square common to both of them and what I really have is sine theta by cos theta whole square. So if you know then sine theta by cos theta is basically the ratio of sine to cos is tan okay it comes from the very basic formula sine by cos so I'm gonna write that as tan square theta that is how we evaluate or simplify trigonometric functions where fractions are involved and that's it that is how we are done